Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a kind of a moderately long video, but hopefully I can get it all done in one shot here in regard to using the PathMate. It's an advanced mate. And uh, the way you see that, if you go to uh, the Mate button on your uh, Command Manager on your Assembly tab, it is an advanced mate. So if you go down to Advanced Mate, you have this Path Mode, or a Path Mate. What we don't have is a path, and there's two elements you need with the path mate. You need to have one part with a, uh, with a, with a vertex on it or a point on it, and another uh, part with uh, some sort of path, so that vertex can follow that path. As long as you have everything else uh, you know, modeled correctly and uh, mated correctly. So we're not going to choose anything right now, but let's go ahead and create those elements. And uh, I'm using Charles Point uh, uh, Shifter as he calls it uh, for a demonstration. Charles, I hope that's okay. So, if it isn't, uh, let me know. If it is, we're going to proceed ahead. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up two different parts. We're going to open up the, the base over here and uh, the shifter plate, and we're going to make modifications to it. So let's open up the shifter plate first and make our path. So, let's go ahead and look at this sketch and make sure we have all the sketch elements in here that we want. Okay, what we're looking for is some center lines and some marks. We do have a center line that goes right down the middle here. That's really good. We don't have a center line down here, so let's go and add some uh, elements here. We're going to add a straight line down here, and it's going to be a construction line. And at the very end of that line, we're going to put a three-point arc and connect it from here to there. And uh, it's kind of loose right now, but we're going to go ahead and establish some relationships in here to make it uh, more definable. If you click on that line, that solid line, you change it back to a center line by clicking on those options. Oops. You can see that uh, mouse shortcut menu that popped up. And we're going to take that point and this point, we're going to make those, and we're going to take a guess here, vertical to each other. You don't really know what the orientation of this is, of this is so, um, you know, you can either choose vertical or horizontal, especially when it's everything's in the horizontal orientation. SolidWorks does pick one or the other. So we do have it uh, connected down here. We're going to make it uh, coincident with that line, and we're also going to make it uh, tangent to this line here too. Okay, so now we have a, a potential path route here. We have a center line down here. Let's go ahead and put a center line down this other one. From that point to that point, and let's take an arc and do the same thing. We'll take an arc and maybe go around, go around the corner down here. Let's escape too many times. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But we're going to take this line and that line. We're going to make that tangent to. Click on that line itself. Make that a... Um, ooh, that's not what we want. Still want to maintain that, but we want to click on this line and we're going to make that a construction line. We're going to make this line and this line tangent. And don't really have a whole lot of reference geometry here, but we're anticipating that this arc and that arc are going to be equal to each other. So if we do that, then we do have some relationships. So what we're going to do in the new sketch is we're going to make a path that goes along that route, essentially. And maybe when we get down here, we're going to make a little teardrop and maybe make it go up the other side and maybe up here. So we're going to see that route. Okay, let's go ahead and rebuild this. Let's go to uh, the top plane. Let's make a um, uh, go to sketch in that top plane. And on that sketch, we want to do a convert entities. So we want to take this sketch, we want to show it too, so we can see the, the elements that we want to convert. So go to convert entities. We're going to click on that, 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 and that. And we're going to convert it. Go to green chalk mark. Now we have a lot of stuff here, a lot more stuff than we need. Trim entities. Let's take that out. Let's take this out and that out. And now we have uh, something that's pretty close to what we want. Let's take this line over here and copy it with the control key. Let's just move that off to the side a little bit. None of this has to be perfect. Now in the very end of this, let's make a uh, let's make an arc. Sorry about that. Let's take this arc, move it over here, and bring that out a little bit. Let's take this point and that point, let's make that ooh, vertical. Yep, that works. And we don't have to make this perfect, but uh, in order to kind of define this a little bit better, let's do put a dimension in between these two. First of all, let's make these parallel. They weren't parallel at first, so we're going to make them parallel here. And then let's put a dimension in, in between these two, so we can lock it up a little bit better. So it isn't so flexible as it is right now. How about uh, half a millimeter? 
And because uh, we want a smooth transition down here, let's put a fillet down here at the end. And both of those at uh, 10 millimeters. If that works out, that looks like it's uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's move this up a little bit. Ooh. Maybe make that and this edge, uh, we make that uh, concentric. Oh, doesn't like that. Let's take that concentric off that a little bit and maybe move this up a little bit. There we go. That looks like it's a pretty good shape. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. What we're trying to do is establish that path. So, regarding this other portion over here, we don't really need that anymore, so let's go ahead and trim that out. So, I can, I think you can see what we're going to get at here. This isn't perfect because it's not going to be right on that line, and uh, the body of the shifter is going to exceed the, the base over here a little bit, which is probably okay, but for demonstration, this is in, in pretty good shape. You can't really stack a line on top of each other, I don't think, and not for the path made. So, this will work for this uh, presentation, and... What we've done is the path in this one, with the next one, we're going to put the vertex on the bottom of the shifter, and then we're going to go ahead and finish this uh, model in the assembly.